So we begin with chapter one of complex analysis. And this is geometry of complex numbers. In this chapter, you will learn various definitions related to complex numbers. In particular, we will discuss geometry related to each definition. So let's see what is a complex number. Complex numbers. Complex numbers are ordered pairs of real numbers x, y denoted by z and these are interpreted as points in the x, y plane. Points in the x, y plane. Say this point is x, y that means this is x and this is y. x is called real part of z denoted by real z y is imaginary part denoted by imaginary z. So what are complex numbers? These are ordered pairs of real numbers x y denoted by z and these are interpreted as points x y in the complex plane. It is also called organ plane x is real part of z y is imaginary part of z next when do we say two complex numbers say x1 y1 and x2 y2 are equal these two are equal if and only if real parts are equal and their imaginary parts are also equal. So this is the definition of equality of two complex numbers. Next, how do we add two complex numbers? Addition of Z1 and Z2 x1 plus x2 comma y1 plus y2 this is the definition of addition of two complex numbers product x1 x2 minus y1 y2 comma x1 y2 plus x2 y1 this is the definition of product of two complex numbers. Notice that if I choose y1 0, y2 0, what is left? Then z1 is purely a real number. In this case, what is z1? x1 0. And what is z2? x2 comma 0. So if we use these in here in the definitions, what do we get? Z1 plus Z2 is X1 plus X2 comma 0. And Z1 into Z2 is X1 X2 comma 0. When the imaginary part is 0, these are purely real numbers. And you see these are simply additions, addition and product of real numbers. So these definitions extend the addition and multiplication of real numbers. You can understand that any complex number on x-axis is a real number. So this whole line carries real numbers and you can see it is simply a part of the xy plane. So complex numbers extend the set of real numbers and accordingly you will see later on also all definitions are given which simply extend the definitions of real numbers. Okay. So
so what we have done so far we have defined complex numbers real part imaginary part equality of two complex numbers then addition and product after that any complex number x y can be written as x comma 0 plus 0 comma y by this definition this can further be written as x comma 0 plus 0 comma 1 into y comma 0 x comma 0 plus 0 comma 1 into y comma 0 x comma 0 let's denote x comma 0 simply by x it's a real number you know and 0 comma 1 by a specific notation called iota and y comma 0 is y. this is called simplified notation of z in terms of iota so what is iota the ordered pair 0 comma 1 it is on y axis here purely complex number following the definition of multiplication this definition can check that iota square is minus 1 comma 0 means it's minus 1 okay so this is how iota enters into complex numbers if you multiply these to 0 comma 1 and y comma 0 you get back 0 comma y following this definition so Further, we will use this notation, this simplified notation of complex numbers. Okay. Complex numbers are commutative, assertive, etc. These properties of complex numbers we can further read in the lecture notes. I need not to discuss those properties, those are just like real numbers. next definition is modulus modulus of a complex number it is the non-negative real number square root of x square plus y square denoted by mod z this is modulus of z geometrically you understand what is it in the complex plane This is distance of z, x comma y or x plus i to y from origin, isn't it? Now, following this, try to understand the geometry of this. R is a real number, positive real number. What is mode? z minus z0 z is x plus i to y say z0 is x0 minus i to y0 what is it geometrically if i subtract and take modulus what do i get x minus x0 plus iota y minus y0 and then square of both whole square gives you equal to r square what is it geometrically a circle centered at x0 y0 or you can say z0 and radius of this circle is r so geometrically this is a circle centered at z0 means x0 y0 and radius r what if i write mod z minus z0 less than r the whole region inside it whole z lying inside this circle greater than r means the region outside this less than equal to r means the region within the circle as well as on the boundary so you understand this point what is it 
it is distance between the two complex numbers z1 and z2 say z1 is here z2 is here more z1 minus z2 is distance between z1 and z2 can i write something like this can we compare two complex numbers no but i can compare these two because these are real numbers so order relation exists between real numbers not complex numbers what does it mean mod z1 is less than mod z2 z1 is nearer to origin than z2 apart from that you can check mod z square is what x square plus y square what is x square real z square y square real y square, real z no it's image that is z square y means imaginary part of z square next conjugate of z do you understand what is conjugate of z already you have learned these definitions in your high school mathematics conjugate if z equal to x plus i to y is any complex number then its conjugate is x minus y or x minus i to y denoted by z bar it is x minus i to y so geometrically what is z bar it is the reflection of z in x axis what is z into z bar if z is x plus i to y z bar is x minus i to y then what is z into z bar x square plus y square what is it more z square you see through this relation z z bar and its modulus are connected also you check real z is z plus z bar over 2 if you add these two and divide by 2 it is real z it's x similarly z minus z bar over 2 iota is imaginary z so these are simple points you can check yourself after conjugate polar form of z polar form you know in polar system x is r cos theta y is r sin theta you already know the meaning of r and theta what are r and theta If x y is point in Cartesian system, in polar system r means is distance from the pole, theta is this angle. So that is the relation between x y r and theta. So in polar form, how can we write the complex number r cos theta plus iota r sin theta? And in Euler notation, it is r e power iota theta. Clearly, more z is r, and theta is this angle. This is called argument of z. You know, argument may have many values, differing with a multiple of two pi. So, if you restrict the range of theta in this. then theta is unique for the given complex number it is called principal range okay by convention so if you restrict theta in this range that is called that is denoted by that is called principal value of the argument denoted by capital a r g z and it can differ from this argument z or theta by 
a multiple of 2 pi. Notice that for 0, theta is not defined and theta is measured in radians. Next point, if R1 e power iota theta 1 is polar form of Z1 and R2 e power iota theta 2 is polar form of Z2. Then, what do we get if Z1 and Z2 are equal? It's clear that R1 should be equal to R2 and theta 1 should be equal to theta 2 with a possible difference of multiple of 2 pi. So this is how in polar form two complex numbers are equal. K is any integer here. This helps in finding nth roots of a complex number. Say we are interested in finding nth roots of a given complex number z0. So how can we find this? Say nth roots are given by z. So what is z power n? It is z0. If I choose polar form, say z is r e power iota theta and z0 is r0 e power iota theta 0 power n this side. So if, if I equate using this rule, what do I get? R power n is R0 and n theta is theta 0 plus 2k pi. From this R is positive nth root of R0 and theta is theta 0 plus 2k pi over n. k varies from 0 to n minus 1. So nth roots of nth roots of z0 are given by we have found both r and theta. So r means value of r is this and e power iota theta means you can write in terms of cos and sine also. Cos theta what is theta? theta 0 plus 2k pi over n plus iota sine theta 0 plus 2k pi over n. So using this formula you can get nth roots of a given complex number. Notice that more z is always this real number okay it means all nth roots of the complex number are at the same distance from the origin means they lie on the circle because mod of z is constant always so the nth roots of the complex number z0 lie on the circle with radius this Also with k equal to 0, say k equal to 0, so what is the angle? Theta 0 over n. This angle is theta 0 over n. After that, they are equally, equally spaced on this circle with the difference of with the difference of 2 pi over n, isn't it? Just keep on changing k, the angle differs by 2 pi over n. So, two points are important here. One is that all the nth roots of the complex number lie on the circle of this radius and they are equally spaced on the circle, equally placed on the circle. Next, regions in complex plane. This part is very important for you and may be new for you. 
focus on all the definitions carefully. Regions in the complex plane. So first we define neighborhood shortcut and BD. Neighborhood of a point Z0 in the complex plane. So we have a point Z0 here in the complex plane. Neighborhood of Z0 is defined by the interior of which circle mod Z minus Z0 equal to epsilon. Means consider an open circle around Z0 of radius epsilon. This whole region, the interior of the circle, defines neighborhood of Z0. Okay. Do you recall neighborhood in real numbers? If x0 is a real number, how do, how do you define its neighborhood? The open interval x0 minus epsilon to x0 plus epsilon. So it just it's just extension of that. Okay. So this is neighborhood of z0. It is an open circle around the given complex number z0. Okay. If I take this thing, then it is deleted neighborhood of Z0. We use the word deleted neighborhood. Deleted neighborhood means it is neighborhood, but the point Z0 is not included into this neighborhood. So can I say that this is neighborhood of Z equal to 0, right? Next interior point. of a set S in the complex plane. A, a complex number Z0 is said to be interior point of a set S in the complex plane. Say this is S. Z0 is interior point. If you can find a neighborhood of Z0 that completely lies inside S. Likewise exterior point Z0 is exterior point. If you can find a neighborhood of Z0 that completely lies outside S. And boundary point, if every neighborhood of this point or denoted by Z0, if every neighborhood of this point carries points inside S as well as outside S. So these are the definitions of interior point, exterior point and boundary point. See this example. This is neighborhood of z equal to 0 or I consider this set as my set S. The region <laughs> inside the circle mod z equal to 1 as well as on its boundary. Okay, this circle and the points inside it. Now, Z equal to 1 by 2 is interior point or exterior point. It is lying inside. You can construct a neighborhood around it that completely lies inside this set. Isn't it? So it is interior point. Z equal to iota. It is here. It's every neighborhood carries points inside as well as outside as so it is boundary point. And what about z equal to say z equal to 2 is lying somewhere here. So you can construct a neighborhood that completely lies outside this set so it is exterior point. So it's simple to understand exterior, interior and boundary points. Then what are 
open sets and close sets open sets and close sets if a set carries all its interior points only a set carrying all interior points only then it is open say mod z less than 1 this set is open why because this set carries all its interior points these are interior points okay all interior points so it is open what about this this set carries interior points as well as the boundary points this is the boundary so this carries interior as well as the boundary point this is closed set closed set carries interior points as well as boundary points this is closed this is open what about this what is the shape of this let us draw it separately it is ring shaped region half here and one this is closed this whole region this is neither open nor closed because one side it, it has two boundaries in fact inner boundary as well as outer boundary so outer boundary points are there but not the inner boundary points so it is neither open nor closed so you understand open sets and closed sets next connected sets what is a connected set if any two points of the given set can be joined by a polygonal line within the set itself then it is connected this set is connected this set is also connected you can understand first set is this one this is open as well as connected right because any two points can be joined within the set itself second set is also connected how this is r this is one so all these points are connected in fact if i choose one point here one here then i can move like this within the set you will understand this point of connected then you see a non connected set say s is given by collection of all z where more z Take another example. A real jet is less than one, and also the points where real jet is greater than two. Can you draw this set and see what do you get? A real jet means x x is less than 1 means which region this is 1 less than 1 means this side and greater than 3 means all points this side this set is not connected because if I choose one point this side and one point in this part and I cannot join them without leaving the set 
so this is non connected set and from the figure itself you understand it's non connected connected means you can reach from one point to other within the set next definition is domain domain by definition is open connected set open connected set is called domain so this is open as well as connected so it is a domain this is also domain but this is not domain because it is not connected next region open connected set with some none or all the boundary points open connected set with some none or all the boundary points is called region so this is a region because this is open connected though it doesn't contain any boundary point but if i include this the boundary also still it is region so you region you can say is more general than domain every domain is a region but every region need not be domain So in region, the main thing is that it is open and connected. It can carry boundary points also. Next bounded set. Bounded set means a set which can be enclosed geometrically within a circle of finite radius. So you have a set here. you can make a circle centered at origin which encloses this set so it is bounded but suppose whatever value of r you choose and you are not able to enclose as then it is unbounded for example this set, this set this is unbounded because whatever size of circle you draw you cannot enclose this region you cannot enclose the region within the circle of finite radius centered at origin so you understand bounded means which lies in finite region next is limit point of a set limit point The complex number z0 is said to be limit point of a set S if every neighborhood of z0 carries infinitely many points of S. z0 is limit point of S if every neighborhood of z0 every neighborhood carries infinitely many points of S. See this example. Say I write more z less than 2, then this is the shape of this region, this whole region is the set as. Now let's see its limit points z equal to 2 is a limit point or not it is here on the boundary is it limit point yes because every neighborhood of z z equal to 2 carries infinitely many points of s isn't it z equal to 2.5 is a limit point or not no for 2.5, I can construct a neighborhood which carries no point of S. So, every point on the boundary is of course a limit point. Any exterior point is not a limit point. What about interior point? Say I take some point here 1. Is it limit point of this set? Yes. 
our small neighborhood or our big neighborhood for one you construct it carries infinite dimmy points of s so it is limit point so what is the set of limit points for s all points satisfying this are all points in this region interior as well as boundary points are limit points so one thing is clear if a set is finite it has no limit point it has no limit point because the neighborhood should carry infinitely many points of the set set itself is finite then naturally it cannot have any limit point a set can have finite number of limit points also see this set iota over n where n is a natural number this is infinite set what is the limit point of this set zero why try to understand this where are the members of this set first member is iota then iota by 2 then iota by 3 and so on all are on y-axis 0 is a limit point because every neighborhood of 0 carries how many points of this set infinite because it is the limit of the sequence so every neighborhood of 0 carries infinitely many points of s so by definition 0 is a limit point so you see the set is infinite but it has only one limit point that is 0 So you understand all these elementary definitions related to complex numbers. These would be useful in further chapters. Especially the part where the regions in the complex plane are discussed. Do this part carefully. Okay. So we will meet in the next lecture. Thank you.